I'm just really happy, you know, let alone to, to walk. And that's the biggest part. And being so close to being not be able to walk and football is just a blessing. Blue 100, set, hit. Chris Sarzinski was told by doctors that 70% of people who suffer the injury he did end up in a wheelchair. Coming so close to paralysis, it's natural for those around him to wonder why he tempts fate returning to the game. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was still concerned. Um, but, you know, when the doctor says he's cleared and ready to go, I mean, that makes you feel pretty good because nowadays uh, I don't think there's a lot of people who, that would step up and do that. So many parents would, would say to me, are you going to let him come back? You're not going to let him come back, are you? And that was such a hard decision. First, the, the biggest thing was, was his health, making sure the doctor said it was okay. Set. So he followed the doctor's orders and maintained his collar, et cetera, to, to get healthy physically. And mentally, his goal was to come back. And that was such a driving force in getting back to 100%. I want to play football. I want to play football. But he realizes he's lucky to be walking. In a game against Levin, when we last caught up with Sarzinski, he was on the comeback trail last November. But he had an eye on this year. The beginning of the re uh, recovery process, Coach Rossi said, you know, you don't, you don't even have to play. You're going to be out there and you're going to help those guys out. And I was happy with that. And to be able to play is just so much so much more and it, it makes me so happy to be able to do this my senior year. Sarzinski is quick to credit those around him for his recovery. My mom, she, uh, she homeschooled me for 12 weeks and that was huge and then my dad took time off of work and he stayed home and then the town they were coming by and everybody just huge support and I had the entire team at my house every day and to have that really helped me push through recovery. And a year after his injury against Levitt, Sarzinski ran for 100 yards and a touchdown in the rematch in September. It was a milestone moment in his recovery, but far from the only thing positive he's taken from the injury. He returned to scouts with his goal of making Eagle. He's starting to think about his future post high school. He had a lot of time to think and grow over this, and he's thinking about his future, and he's focused on his season here. And, and that comeback. So it was really, it was inspirational to us as parents. Not many people can say they look up to their son and are inspired by their son in the level we are. Sarzinski so missed last week's game with a foot injury, but hopes to be back in uniform this Friday. Travis Lee, WMTW, News 8 Sports.